warm welcome back to my channel my name is Donato and in this video I'll be talking you through a pair of running shoes that cost me less than 50 bucks and not only that I completed London Marathon here we are there's no finish line like it London Marathon we love you We got this! In a time that got me five minutes, that's five minutes inside a Boston qualifying time. So I know you're desperate to find out which magic shoes are these. So without further ado, let's go. Oh yes, guys, an absolute warm welcome back. And here, I wouldn't really say it's warm. It's positively scorchio because here along the riverside, River Seven in Worcester, I guess this could be what you might call the inaugural riverside running shoe review patent pending yeah along with jiggy jog patent pending yes if you've been following my channel you may know that i do like a good discount so whilst i say these shoes were under 50 bucks yes that's what i paid for them that's not the usual retail price as the train is passing overhead here yes i'm under the railway bridge be sure to give this video thumbs up subscribe and hit that alarm bell if you are interested in new things saving money saving the environment and getting the best out of best bang for our bucks yeah we all want to do that don't we yeah and don't forget it's entirely up to you what you spend your money on how much you want to spend and what you want to put all your hard-earned cash to but for me personally i like to save my pennies and i like to spend money on things where maybe like mm, pizza there's a pizza yeah be asking what are these magic shoes that cost so cheap and yet can run so fast well it's these babies yes the Saucony ride 15 and as I say I got these for under 50 bucks under 50 pounds here in the UK normal retail price is 120 pounds but for some reason these were on sale and uh, yes other colors were higher priced and yes you could get the ride 16 i think they're 120 130 pounds but these were just as good now why do i say these are just as good well the color for me is not that important for me it's all about how they feel how they how i'm running them and so far i've done over 700 kilometers in these which is over 430 odd miles and for a lot of people they would have thrown these away by now and got onto a new pair of shoes for whatever reason yeah but for me I'm gonna keep these going the, the last pair I think um, of shoes were, which were the Saucony Speed 2 over a thousand miles I reckon I can get over a thousand miles with these because when you look at the tread on these there's a little bit there on the midfoot but not that much and they do feel oh so comfort it did take a while to bed these in i wouldn't say these were ready to go out of the box like a lot of the modern day racing shoes which are designed for race and in particular the carbon plated ones a lot of those are ready to go out of the box i wouldn't say these are ready to go out of the box but i did bed them in for about 100k or so before i done london marathon you got this buddy you got it come on let's go So as I was saying, it's up to you what you want to spend your money on and the shoes, what you want to buy, how you want to feel, different types of runs and all that. But for those pair, I've done all of my runs from easy runs, jiggy jogs, recovery runs, speed sessions in those shoes, as well as the endorphin speed too so for me i can mix and match them any which way and whilst i've recently bought the kimvara 14 which are excellent racing shoes by the way which i triple qualified for england masters at 10k half marathon and marathon 
by the way <laughs> it was the Kinvara 14 that I'd done the the 10k and the half marathon in I didn't have the Kinvara 14s for London Marathon or Manchester Marathon but the other thing to add into the mix is that uh, whilst I ran five minutes inside Boston qualifying time with the Saucony Ride 15, that was only one week after running my lifetime personal best in Manchester Marathon of three hours and two minutes. Now, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you tried the Saucony Ride 15 or 16 or 14? I did have these shoes, the Guide and the Ride about seven years ago up to Frankfurt Marathon before I switched to uh, Ultra shoes and was doing other shoes then. But they worked then and they still work now. They feel great as an everyday, all day shoe and everything shoe in my opinion. As I say, if you are getting started in running and uh, your budget doesn't stretch out to buy multiple shoes and have this shoe rotation that a lot of people are talking about, you, you don't need to do those. You can just get on with one pair of shoe. That's how I started and that's how a lot of people still do, which is just one pair of shoes, all round, running shoe. And then you may get a second one as the first one's beginning to wear out. So you start bedding that one in. Hopefully that makes sense. And if it does make sense, do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that alarm bell and please do share with your friends and family who are looking maybe to get started in running and looking to find an everyday running shoe, which the Saucony Ride 15 is absolutely 100% bang on an everyday shoe for all sorts of running. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you sharing with you maybe another beautiful Riverside running shoe review, eh? Do you like that? I do. I, I literally just thought of that as well whilst we were here. You know, beautiful sunny day here on the river and why not? Maybe I should go on a, a boat cruise. What do you think? Leave in the comments below. See you all very soon. Love you lots. Bye bye bye. <laughs>